Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video. Uh, just coming actually this time to share a little project that I've been working on. Uh, basically over the, kind of the Christmas and holiday breaks, for maybe the past two or three weeks. Um, I was actually watching a video, uh, Eclectic Collector. Yeah, it actually was one of his videos. As I'm sure a lot of you know by now, you know, Kiss came out with that Kisteria box set. A little while ago that has all their studio albums and uh, you know live releases and all of that I mean absolute incredible box set and I think there was only a thousand of them made and of course they cost a bajillion dollars and uh, eclectic collector had kind of made his own little set that you know he kind of called it like his you know kind of his version of the Kisteria and like the minute I saw his video I just thought it was really kind of cool because you know, I would love to have a KISS box set, obviously, and even if I had the opportunity to buy one of the 1,000 that they put out with that Kisteria, uh, obviously I wouldn't have, you know, had that kind of money to pay for a box set. So, after I saw his video, I was like, well, why can't you just go out and make your own? That's kind of cool. So, um, that's kind of what I did. So, I just wanted to kind of share with you this little project that I've been working on over the Christmas holidays, which is kind of my own... Uh, Kiss box set, if you will. Now, the actual box that they use to make the Kisteria, there, there's one that's somewhat similar to it on, I think it's on Amazon I saw. They ran about $99. I think it was called the, the Odyssey or something like that, which the design of the box itself was very, very similar to the, the actual Kisteria box set. It might have actually been the one, I don't know, but extremely similar. But I decided to not necessarily try to make it so much like the Kisteria box set and really just do one that's really just kind of my own, you know, own ideas and everything else. So I went and got this, what was just a plain black box from um, Half Price Books. I think I got it for like $24. So just, you know, very basic. And then I just kind of came up with one idea and then another idea, another idea. And kind of three weeks later, this is what spawned out of it <laughs> so uh, I was very happy with the way that it came out too and it was a very fun project and and uh, so anyway just want to kind of share this with you really quick so you can see on the front here you have all the little you know, little sparkling jewels just a bunch of those self-adhesive jewels that you find at Michaels and all those places and yeah just kind of went through and bedazzled <laughs> is basically what I did so now the one thing that's kind of noticeable too is if you look right there on the front you see that flashing kiss right there which is I think that's really kind of neat too and what that basically is is a it was part of a keychain that I found and uh, I just kind of you know took off other parts and and just kind of you know isolated this portion of it and then used it to put there just to you know you're talking about kiss kiss is not kiss without flashing lights so so that was kind of one of my favorite parts that, that turned out a lot better than I thought, which I, th I thought was really cool. And it's it's not battery operated, basically it's just solar operated. Anytime light's flashing on it, it it works. So, so that was kind of cool. Um, the stickers at the bottom, that was kind of a funny story. With the two girls down there, I actually went into a gas station. I was on the highway, stopped at a gas station. And I saw a bunch of stickers, and I'm kind of just looking through them, and I see the sticker that has these two girls on there, and I thought, okay, that'd be perfect for the bottom portion of the box down there. The only thing is, the entire sticker was actually one of those FBI female body inspector things, and so I was like, I don't want to walk up here in a gas station and buy a sticker that says FBI female body inspector. <laughs> But I really wanted the two girls that were on the bottom of it, so I bit the bullet and, you know, in my walk of shame, went up to the counter and actually purchased that sticker. I can only imagine what the girl was thinking. But, uh, yeah, so th that's how I got the two girls there at the bottom. So, so that's kind of the front of the case right there. Going to the top, kind of kept that simple, didn't want to do too much of an overkill. Um, so just, you know, have just kind of the KISS logo right there on the top. And then on one side here, as you can see, a little more bedazzling at the top. With one side that says you wanted the best. So of course, on this side, it's going to read, 
you got the best. Okay. So that's that portion. On the bottom, I did attach these wheels, although I'm not sure I'm going to keep these on here. But these are just some little caster wheels that I got from Ace Hardware. I think they were like three dollars a pair or something like that. You know, just and I couldn't find any that were silver. They were all gold. So I went and bought some paint, uh, some of that you know paint for use for model cars and stuff like that. It was like three bucks and bought a little silver bottle and painted them silver. So I thought that matched a little bit better. But again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the wheels on there or not. But for now, they are. All right, and so let me kind of show you the back here. If I can get a little close up with the camera and then back out. This is what I did to the back, which as you can see, is just a bunch of album covers posted across the back. And that turned out a lot better than I thought as well. So I was really happy with the way this portion came out. So that's the back. So let me flip back around to the front and actually show you what's on the inside. Again, sorry about the close up there. And then when you open it up, of course, you have the albums. And then you have that insert on the top of the case that I put in there, which is kind of like just a cloth photo. Now, I just thought that was really cool. I know when I first saw it, I thought that would be perfect to go right in the top side of the case. So I put that in there. So that turned out well. And then you have just the albums. So here's all the, the Kiss albums. Well, almost all of them. Um, one of the things I did decide to do was to sell off my current Kiss collection and purchase all of the 180 gram reissues. So I did. I put them on eBay, sold all of them. Uh, and got exactly what I was asking for everything, which was nice. And that kind of put enough money in my PayPal account to start purchasing all the new reissues. So I won't go through every one, but I'm sure you guys are familiar with those new reissues that have come out. So that's what these all are, you know, all the studio albums. The only thing that I'm missing out of this set right now would be Sonic Boom. I need a copy of that, of course, like so many do. Um... Double Platinum, I don't have a good copy of that. Killers, need a copy of that. And uh, Symphony. So those would be the four LPs that I would love to get to kind of complete this collection in my mind. So again, I won't go through all this because you guys know all the studio albums. So it's just all those, um, including all the live stuff. Like the Vegas, Alive 1, 2, and 3. Um, as well as the Mo Millennium Concert and MTV Unplugged, and all those are in here as well. A couple others that are included are the Kiss Hotter Than Metal, which is basically the first LP of Live, and then the Smashes, Trashes, and Hits, or I'm sorry, Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits, and these two are the only ones that are not brand new. Uh, the Hotter Than Metal is pretty much mint, which is nice, but as you can see on here, there's a little bit of ring wear on this one, but the vinyl is mint, so I figured this kind of hold me over so I can actually get a, a mint cover as well. But other than that, that is kind of what the project was. And I had such a blast putting this together too. I mean, because I didn't necessarily have a good idea or concept of exactly what I was going to do when I first got it. And the first thing I did was just put the kiss across the front. And then after that, it was just all ideas as they came. I just started kind of putting stuff together. So it was a, I had a lot of fun doing it. One really cool story, though, I thought was kind of ironic, if you will, was just a couple of nights ago, I was putting the finishing touches on it because the last thing I ended up doing was that you wanted the best, you got the best. So I put you wanted the best on one side and I was over working on the you got the best on the other side. And I was actually down to on the the uh, the parts. I just had this and this to do, which took like you know three or four minutes. But as I'm putting on the very last finishing touches, there, I get a text message from a friend who happens to be out of town uh, for work, and the the wording of the text message said um like U M M M M, and that was it. 
and then there was a photo attached and I opened it up and she's sitting right next to Gene Simmons. I shouldn't say sitting next to him. She's it's a picture of her hugging Gene Simmons. And I'm like, what in the heck? And there's another picture of him like, you know, just walking. And long story short, she's on a flight and she was sitting next to Gene Simmons. And I was like, holy cow. You know, and it's, <laughs> it was oh, it's just kind of cool after working on this thing for weeks. And like the last few seconds when it's about finished, you know, your friend shoots you a message that, you know, yeah, by the way, I'm sitting here just yapping with Gene. So I uh, thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, that was the uh, the project. Like I said, I had a ton of fun making it. Uh, it's kind of inspiring me maybe to try to do some of these for other artists that I would like to have box sets for, if you will, or collection sets. Maybe that's a better way to put it. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Like I said, I had a lot of fun making it. Hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, VC. All right, take care, guys.